Hey everyone, my name is Chad Demchuk at Chad D Official here at the Michael Flores Salon in Dallas, Texas. I'm super excited to be taking over Joico's Instagram page. As a Joico International guest artist, I use our products every single day, day in, day out. I'm hooked. Uh, what I'm going to be sharing with you guys today is more in-depth information regarding the Defy Damage Pro Series. It's something I use every day on all of my customers and I'm going to share with you why you need to use it. What we're also be going to be covering is a little bit more in-depth information about the Youth Lock series that just recently launched from the Lumashine Permanent Collection. I've been using this on everyone and my customers are just in love with this product. They're noticing such a huge difference with the softness of their hair, the shine, the manageability, because of all the collagen that's infused in it, you guys. We all love collagen. It's such a great thing to have and taking it and putting it into our hair color, it's turned it into the fountain of youth. So. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right into doing hair. I'm super excited to share everything I have with you guys. All right, so we're here with my model, Patty, and before we put any chemicals onto our hair, the first thing that we wanna make sure is protect the hair. We're gonna be using from the Defy Damage Series, Pro Series 1. What makes this different than any of the other bond builders out on the market? Well, the first thing is it's a dry aerosol spray. So what I'm gonna go through is spray it directly onto her hair in a dry state. I'm gonna show you that in just one second. We don't have to change our formulations. We don't have to add extra time, change our developers. This is what makes it next generation is the delivery and the way that you don't have to alter anything. The last piece of, in my mind, that's the best part. We don't protect just one bond, not two bonds, but three different bonds within the hair. The first one that we protect is gonna be the disulfide bonds, which help gives us strength and structure to the hair. Usually that gets damaged through the perming, coloring, and lightening process. The second one that we're gonna be protecting is gonna be is the salt bonds, which helps us give us strength and elasticity to, to the hair. Now, unfortunately, those can sometimes get a little roughed up during color and lightening processes. So again, super important to protect it. The last bond that we're gonna be protecting is going to be the hydrogen bonds, which helps give us elasticity back to the hair. Usually we get a lot of breakage when the hair is wet because those hydrogen bonds are kind of scared and they're like, oh my gosh, I gotta go. So using the Defy Damage Pro Series is gonna help even out all of that and help keep it nice and strong through any chemical process. All right, so before we put any chemicals on, let's go ahead and get the product put onto her hair. Super easy to use. The way I like to use it in the salon is I actually split the head in half from the front to the back. So I'm just going to section the left from the right. And what we're going to do is we're going to be applying it from the underneath, working our way up to the top. So I'm going to start in a horizontal, working to a diagonal, to a vertical, directing the hair away from the face so this way she doesn't have any of the spray coming onto it. So all I'm simply going to do is start in the underneath. And before we apply it, we want to make sure that we're shaking and bursting. So like I say, shake, 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 burst, burst, burst. And I'm going to go through and take two to three sections like this, and then I'm going to comb the sections through so that way the ingredients are all incorporated from scalp to ends. Now some of the amazing ingredients that are built into the Defy Damage Pro Series is going to be, we have a bond building arginine. And what that's going to do is help give us a little bit more strength to the hair. Hair already has arginine built into it, so that is going to help give us a little bit more strength back to the hair before any of the chemicals go on to it. Now, as you guys are seeing, I'm not spraying this like a hairspray. I'm doing short bursts in a downward motion. Really super important. So this way it doesn't float up into the air and create any havoc on your shoes or anybody's faces, anything like that. But as I get towards the top of the hair, you're gonna see I'm starting to move more vertically, pulling the hair away from the face. All right, the next ingredient that's in here is also a protective lipid. And what that's gonna be, it's gonna be our first line of defense against any of these chemicals that are going to be going onto her hair. Now for today, what we're going to be using is uh, our permanent color to cover up her grays, as well as some lightener and a demi color. She's getting highlights and lowlights built into this. So we wanna make sure that we're protecting it. And because there is a protective lipid in here, it's gonna protect against any chemical damage, UVA, UVB protection, or any thermal protection that may happen later on, right? And we're gonna work on this final section. And as we talk about uh, the ingredients, the last thing is 
that's so beautiful about this product is it also has moringa seed oil, which is full of antioxidants, vitamin A, vitamin E, zinc, silica. And what's so special about that is it's gonna add more shine and softness to the hair before and after the treatment. So what we're gonna do is we've done the right side and literally that took me about 45 seconds. I'm now gonna do it on the opposite side. All right, so here's a little bit of a close up of what I'll be working on as far as a canvas for today. We can see right in here that Patty is right around between 75 to 100% white in some areas, right around 50% as we get into that back. But what I really wanna show you guys is, look at this amazing shine that we've got going on now. Her hair is naturally a little bit on the drier side because she's naturally curly. But again, just using that Defy Damage Pro Series 1, we can really see a lot of that shine start to come through from the Moringa seed oil built into it, as well as that protective lipid, which is gonna be our first line of defense against what we're about to put onto her hair. So I'm super excited and let's uh, go mix up some color. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get Patty's color formulations mixed up. We're gonna be using Joyco Lumishine hair color on her. We're gonna be doing two different formulas. The very first one will be for a one inch band right around her hairline where she's just a little bit more gray. I personally love to do this technique a little bit lighter around the hairline because I always find that the hairline goes a little bit darker. So I always formulate one level lighter just to balance it out. So this way from front to back, it looks more even. So what we're gonna be using is again, our Lumishine permanent color mixed in with the brand new Youth Lock series, which is a line extension from the permanent series in Lumishine. What this is all about is the fountain of youth for hair color. It has collagen built into it, super amazing. So it's gonna add more softness, suppleness back to the hair. A little bit about what Youth Lock is, you will get 100% gray coverage every time. It's gonna help lock in body of, in movement, as well as locking in, in, in amazing manageability back to the hair. Cause you know, gray hair gets that coarseness and it's just not cute, these zingers sticking out. So it's gonna make it a little bit more manageable. With Luma Shine, you're always gonna get two times the shine. So super excited. I'm about to show you what we're gonna be using on her. So let's turn this around. So our very first formula is going to be, this is going. All right, so for Patty's hairline formula that I was just speaking about, we're gonna be doing six NWB. We're gonna be doing a quarter ounce of that mixed with a quarter ounce of the seven NN. This is that brand new youth lock. And notice it's a double zero. So that means it's an intense natural pigment. So that's gonna help ensure that we get amazing gray coverage. So again, this is gonna be a combination for the front hairline. And then for the rest of her head, we're going to be using five NWB mixed with six NN. So this is again, a double natural pigment. So you're gonna get a lot more opacity from it. I'll be mixing these in a double, in a equal ratio. So one part, one part. For both of these formulas, I will be using our Lumashine 20 volume equal portions. So we mix one part color to one part developer. When we're all done, we're gonna let that process for 35 to 45 minutes. Typically, I like to go 45 minutes to ensure maximum coverage because let's be honest, at the end of the service, we wanna make sure that all that gray is covered. So we're gonna process for the full 45 minutes. But while it's processing, we're gonna be doing some highlighting and low, low lighting. So let's show you guys that formula. All right, so for Patty's highlighting and low lighting, what we're going to be using on her is going to be from our Blonde Life series in Joico, our Blonde Life Cream Lightener, which lifts nine plus levels, which let's be honest, we don't need to lift that light. She's pretty light already to start sitting around a level six. So we're only going to be mixing this with the 10 volume developer. So we get just three to four levels of lift maximum. Like I say here in Dallas, Texas, I like my lightener, like my barbecue, slow and low moving. So that'll be her highlight. And then for her low lighting, I'm going to be using from the rest of our Joy Color System, our Vero K-Pack Chrome. From those of you that are not familiar with it, it's a demi-permanent color line and it is an acidic base color. So you get beautiful shine, beautiful deposit of color. What I'm going to be using is G6, which is sandalwood and RC6, copper mined. So both level sixes, one's a gold, one's a red copper. I'm going to be doing three quarters of my formula in the level six gold to one quarter of the level six red copper. Reason why I'm doing that, I just wanna add a little bit of the heat of that copper. I don't wanna to add too, too much. This will be mixed one part color to two parts of the activator. So it is a one to two ratio. So if I have one ounce total of my color, I'll be using two ounces of the activator and that's what helps keep it acidic. So it's truly super gentle on the hair and it's gonna add amazing shine and 
and a positive tone. So again, we'll be using our blonde life with 10 volume as well as our chrome for low lighting. All right, so here we have our one inch strip right around that front hairline where we're going to be putting that lighter formula. And I've just gone ahead and sectioned this out of way so you guys can see where we'll be putting that darker color formulation. And then afterwards we'll be going through and just adding some highlighting and low lighting, just to add some brightness through here, but adding some depth through the ends of that soft copper gold color. So just take a look at that. All right, here we go. All right, we have her Lumashine Youth Lock color onto our hair, covering those grays. I've set my timer on my watch for 45 minutes, so we're gonna do some dimensional highlighting while this is processing. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm gonna be doing my technique I call UDA, which stands for Upside Down A. So take the capital letter A, take it and flip it upside down, and that's going to be my highlighting pattern. So I'll have one diagonal around her hairline, one going from the top of the ear to the crown, and then a cross piece. I'm going to be alternating my two colors that I just showed you guys a few minutes ago using my Blonde Life Cream Lightener in 10 volume with my Vero Chrome and Activator formula. I'll be alternating through that just to add a little bit more dimension throughout her hair. Here we go. All right, so for the first pieces I'm going to be doing, I've taken a diagonal on her hairline and I'm working off of a diagonal in the back area going again from the ear up towards the bottom of the crown. What I'm going to do is I'm going to alternate. So I'm going to have the two arms of the upside down A be my lighter piece. And in this instance, my cross piece will be my low light. Then when I move up the head, I'm gonna alternate. So my next sets of arms will be my low lights and then my cross piece will be the highlight. I'll go through alternating those two formulas. What I like to do is I actually like to work on a light of slices uh, when it's not on the hairline. So this way it adds a little bit more of a pop of color. So again, this will be the silver foil representing my Blonde Life Cream Lightener in 10 volume. I'm gonna go through and get that lightener right onto the hair. There we go. And do a gentle little folding action, making sure not to move any of that lightener off of the hair. Now, I personally don't believe in going like this, moving the product off the hair. I may fold one side in just to help lock it in so it doesn't irritate them, but that's all I'm gonna do set it and forget it. Again, around the hairline, I'm going to work on the skin. So I'm going to take my weave from the front part of that section, getting rid of that negative space out of my way. Silver foil again, representing my Belong Life. And again, just folding one of the corners just to help lock that foil in place. And then I'm going to take my horizontal piece in an opposite color. Again, three parts of G6 from Vera k Pack Chrome with one part RC6. Both level sixes, one being a gold and one being a red copper. And again, this will be a slice, just to add a little bit of pop. Now, because it's a demi permanent, it's just gonna add stain to this brown hair. It's not a blonde piece, just adding a little bit more warmth to it. And this will be represented by my magenta foil. All right, so this last foil again was my chrome formula of that gold and copper. So now, like I did say, I'm going to take some space in between my next set of foils and I'll be placing that magenta foil, which is that golden copper formula, on those back arm pieces. And then I'll put a blonde piece right here. So whenever I'm working along the hairline, I always like to take weaves. It's a little bit softer and gentler. So this way, if she wears her hair up off of her face, it'll be a little bit softer, not too stripey or too chunky. So again, taking a weave. And again, this will be my magenta foil. 
representing my golden copper foil. Making sure to saturate from scalp to ends. Now, if you didn't want to saturate from scalp to ends, that's totally up to you. I personally like to go from scalp to ends when I'm infusing a new shade into the, the look. If it was just a blonde piece, I may not go all the way to the scalp, depending on what type of lived in look that they might be going for. Some people, as we know, like to have highlights to the scalp. So it's putting the right technique on the right person to make sure you get the best outcome for them. So again, going back in with my golden copper formula for my Vera K Pat Chrome. Saturating. Folding. Locking in. And then again, I'm gonna go through with a highlight and I'm going to be working on a horizontal and this will be a slice. When I take my slices, I do like to make sure that they're thin enough that if I was to put a newspaper behind it, I could read the newspaper. Otherwise, you can't get close enough to the scalp if it is too thick. So again, Blonde Life, Cream, and 10 Volume. And we'll get that folded up. And boom, we have our upside down A. All right, so we've gone through and we've done four tiers of our UDA. Now I'm starting to get a little bit close to her hairline, so I wanna show you what I personally like to do when it comes to that stage. So I'm gonna tilt her head towards the camera so you guys can see. Her part line is right over here. And what we're going to do is from here, we're just gonna take horizontal slices working up to that hairline. So again, I'm gonna turn her to the side so you guys can see. And let's I'm turn gonna have her tilt her head down so again, you guys can see how much space we have left. So right around two inches, and we're gonna work on a horizontal alternating between the two colors. My goal is to end with our low light so this way she doesn't look like a blonde, she still looks like a brunette. All right, so we've gone ahead and completed the opposite side of Patty's hair. So I'm just gonna spin you around so this way you guys can take a look to see how it looks. Uh, I did go through after it was all done and I did put one more silver foil connecting the two sides together. Super easy and again, that's our Blonde Life uh, formulation with 10 volume. Uh, again, ending, we'll turn this this way. Uh, again, with our copper on top and if we were to tilt her head down a little bit, we can see she has just about a half inch of her part line laying over top. And that's gonna be just a nice little veil to blend everything in. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and let this sit for about another 15 more minutes. That's all the Vero K Pat Chrome truly needs. Like I did mention before, I'm not trying to get her highlights too blonde, too light, so we're not gonna let it sit on that long. I'll see you guys back at the shampoo bowl when we get her glazed glaze. All right, so for those of you that are not familiar with our Joyco Lumashine liquids, what they are, they're a demi-permanent color. They are mixed with a five volume developer and they process anywhere from five to 20 minutes. They're a mixing ratio of one part color to one part of the five volume developer. So why would I choose a liquid? The big difference is whenever I think about a toning situation, Am I trying to cover up the highlights or am I trying to just add a little tone and dimension back to Think them. of a liquid a little bit more like an iced tea so I can see through it, it's more sheer. Versus something that's more cream tends to be more opaque so it's a little bit harder to see, it's a little bit more dense. So that's why I'm choosing today to choose the liquids because I can see through, I can still see the highlights that I just put through. So if you didn't have a chance to check out the formulas, again, what I'm using today is two parts of the 9NWB, so a level nine natural warm beige, 
to one part of the 8NC, a level 8 natural copper. So two parts of the 9, one part of the 8, and I am mixing it to an equal amount of the 5 volume LumaShine developer. So I'm going to let this sit on for just a few more minutes. We're going for a total processing time of 10 minutes for Patty's toner. Uh, then we're going to go through, get her blow dried, and you guys will see the end result in just a couple minutes. We'll see you in a second. All right, so we've gone ahead and we've shampooed out her toner. What I used again for that is our Defy Damage Protective Shampoo. What I'm going to use next is the bookend system of the Pro Series. So this is Pro Series 2 from Defy Damage. When we did our initial spraying, that was our bond protector from the chemicals that we we're about to put on. And now this is our bond strengthener that gets put on for five minutes total in place of your typical conditioner that you would use. So I'm using two to three pumps, coating Patty's hair. If you really feel like you can go through and give a beautiful head massage, whatever your treatment may be that you use in the salon, you could take a wide tooth comb, comb it through. I'm gonna let this sit on for approximately five minutes the beauty of it is, is that, you know, as long as you have that five minutes on there, you're going to truly strengthen all those bonds after they've been protected. And she's going to have beautiful, lustrous hair when we're all done. I know she's excited. I know you're going to be excited to see the end result. All right, so we've gone through, we've done our blow dry. I'm gonna go ahead and curl it, but before I do uh, put a little wave into it, I just wanna share with you guys how it looks nice and smooth. So here we are, we've got this beautiful gray coverage situation taken care of, yas. We can see we've got some beautiful dimensional tones going through here. Again, we've got those beautiful highlights are on the front, right behind that are some nice browner pieces just to add a little bit of dimension back into it, volatizing that hair, getting it ready for the autumn. I'm super excited about how beautiful this color looks. I do also love the amount of shine that we have going through here from our Defy Damage Pro Series Pro 1, Pro 2, taking care of that. Stay tuned to see it all curled and gorgeous, yes. All right, so there we have it. We have Patty's hair all completed and finished. I've gone through and I've done a little soft, gentle wave through it. So I'm just gonna give her a little bit of a turn. As we can see, she's got some beautiful soft rib ribbons of highlighting and low lighting. Again, this formula, as you guys have been seeing and hearing all throughout this time. I hope you guys have had a great time. I hope you guys take this technique of using both LumaShine and YouthLock in the same formulas. That's the best part. They can be intermixed. You don't have to use them just by themselves. You can now intermix the two. So I know you guys are going to love using that YouthLock when you finally have the chance to use it. And don't forget, again, make sure you're using your Defy Damage Pro Series 1, Pro Series 2 to make sure you're strengthening the hair and protecting the hair from start to finish. Super excited to see what you guys post. Again, my name's Chad Demchuk at Chad D Official, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye! All right, guys, it's a wrap. I've had such an awesome time sharing with you as much as I could in this Joyco Instagram takeover that I've had, sharing with you guys everything from bond building to coloring hair to lightening hair to toning hair, how to style hair. It's been an amazing process for me. I hope you guys got a lot of information out of this that you can take back into the salon today or tomorrow or whenever you get a chance. Uh, make sure if you want to see more education like this that you check out joyco.com for more streaming online education as well as check out our app. We have a Joy Color System app where you can literally help create formulas right on the go, right there in your pocket. So again, I'm at Chad D Official. It's been great and I'll see you guys soon.